ISIL fighters claim they've taken U.S. military aid, which was airdropped for Kurdish forces battling the group in the Syrian border town of Kobani. This uh, ISIL video, which can't be verified, appears to show fighters with U.S. ammunition boxes. They describe it as booty mistakenly dropped into their territory. A U.S. military official admitted on Monday that one of its aid drops had gone astray, but that the weapons were later destroyed. The U.S. State Department says it's aware of the video and is checking to see whether it's authentic. We've seen that video and we can't confirm that what is in it is actually accurate. There's obviously a lot of false information, particularly, particularly propaganda on the Internet, and this may fall into that category. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeking more information at this point, though, so okay. can't confirm it, seeking more information. Um, we know that part of ISIL's strategy here is to wage a propaganda campaign. And that's why one of our lines of efforts has been delegitimizing ISIL's propaganda. And so that is something other countries can do, it's something religious leaders can do, but that's why if you look at our five lines of effort, that's one of them, which I think is pretty extraordinary. Our correspondent, Razan Jordan, is live for us from Washington, D.C. Hi there, Raz. So the U.S. State Department neither confirming nor denying at this point uh, if these weapons have indeed fallen into ISIL's hands. That's right, and that's also the case coming from the Pentagon. We heard from that department spokesperson, Rear Admiral John Kirby, a little earlier on Tuesday. He said that both uh, analysts at the Pentagon and at CENTCOM headquarters in Tampa, Florida, are analyzing the video, trying to determine if, in fact, that video shows some of the material that apparently went off course during the airdrops uh, conducted by the U.S. military Sunday night into Monday. The uh, Pentagon still says, however, that it knew that the uh, bag uh, went astray and that it was destroyed because it did not want ISIL to actually take control of these weapons. Certainly officials at both departments are saying that they know that they're not only engaged in an actual uh, fight against ISIL, but that they're also engaged in a propaganda battle. And they say that videos such as the one that's being analyzed right now are part of what ISIL is using in order to recruit fighters. They say that the coalition is trying to work very actively on finding messages to keep people who might be attracted to ISIL's message from actually taking things such as this video very seriously.